Welcome to June's Lico Challenge. Today's problem is Dungeon Game. The demons have captured Princess P and imprisoned her in the bottom right corner of the dungeon. The dungeon consists of M times N rooms laid out in 2D grid, so a 2D array, and our valiant knight K is positioned at the top left room. And he must fight his way through the dungeon to rescue the princess. The knight has an initial health represented by a positive integer. If at any point his health drops to zero or below, he dies immediately. Okay, so that's interesting. Some of the rooms are guarded by demons, and they're represented by negative integers, um, and he loses the health when he enters these rooms. Others are zero or positive, and that's going to increase the knight's health. Those are magic orbs. In order to reach the princess as quickly as possible, the knight can only move right and down. That's convenient. Now, write a function to determine the knight's minimum initial health so that he is able to rescue the princess. So initially, when you first see this problem, it looks simple enough. We immediately think dynamic programming, right? We a 2D array. We could finally find the minimum um, amount of health that we can position from going right and or down and maybe just go bottom up to track how much health the knight would need. But that actually doesn't work. And it's way more complicated than it sounds at first because in order to track how much health the knight has, we have to make sure that he can't go below zero. So in order to do that, you would have to have some sort of other number to track that in, the, in this path. So that approach I quickly gave up on because it just wasn't working, especially when you had two points where both of them had the same minimum health and it was hard to figure out which path should I go from in order to track that. So rather than going bottom up, how about you try going top down? Start at the point of the princess and think about what's the minimum amount of health that we would have needed to get here at this cell. So that's actually a lot easier to go, go about. So like say that we started here where the princess is, how much health do we need to get to this cell? Well, intuitively we know you need at least six health, right? Because as soon as we enter here, we're going to lose five health. And if we go to zero or below that, then we're going to die. So we need minimum six. If this number was positive, if it was like 10 or hundred, then we would, the minimum amount of health is one. We can't have anything lower than that. But as long as we have one health, we can enter here because we know we're going to gain that much health. So very quickly, once you realize that, we can say, okay, let's do a dynamic programming solution, but just go top down. Like start here and say, okay, well, if we go from this cell to this point. We know that we need six health here. Um, what about this point? Well, to get to the next point, we know that we're going to need six. Here, we, we know we gained one, so the minimum amount for that would be five, right? If we have five, we're going to gain one healthier. We'll have six now, so now we can go to the bottom one. And the same way up here, we'll say, well, here we need at least five to get to the bottom, so we'll need two, minimum of two to get here, because we'll have two, then we'll get in five, then we'll gain six, now we can gain, that's going to be the minimum amount of health that we need. Yeah, so that's actually not easy to figure out, because how do you do that programmatically? We have, we'd have to first figure out the minimum health for uh, the rightmost column, the bottommost row, and then do a dyna dynamic programming solution, but do it the opposite way, do it um, top down. So start here and then iterate this way. Okay, so let's think about what we need to begin with. And first I'm gonna initialize some variables. Let's start with the height and the width of dungeon. And that's just going to be the length of the dungeon is height and the length of dungeon, the, let's say just the first array, that's going to be the width, number of columns. I'm also going to initialize M and N, and that's just going to be height minus one and width minus one, because it's just for readability purposes. This is the last index number on our, on our DP array. Finally, I'm just, I'm going to make a DP array and we'll just call that dungeon. And you don't actually need to do this. I'm just doing it for readability purposes, so I don't have to rewrite dungeon over and over again. Okay, so the first thing, what is the minimum of health we need at point of princess? So this is the point of princess, princess. Oops. And how can we calculate that? Well, we've already talked about that. If it's positive, we know that you need one health. Um, otherwise, if it's negative, we just subtract 
this minimum amount by this DP array, and that's going to, or this cell here, and that's going to give us the amount that we would need getting to this point. So it's actually just the max between those two. It's either the max of one or the max of one minus whatever this is. If it's positive, it'd be negative, right? So we take one. If it's negative, though, we would subtract that and get the amount of health we would need to remain with one health at the end. Okay, so cool, we have that. Now let's go up our rightmost column. So this is a little tricky, but for row in range of, let's see, m minus one, because we already have calculated m, we don't need to do that. And we'll go all the way to minus one, so the zero index, and we'll iterate by minus one. We'll go minus one, minus one, so minus one, okay. And so dp, the rightmost column, uh, the row and the rightmost column, which is going to be n, right? So this equals what? Uh, okay, so get the max between 1 and the dp, the uh, row below it, subtracted by this current row or this current cell. So we either take the maximum of one if it's positive, uh, or we take uh, whatever amount that it is at the next point that we're going to go, subtract it by this. And we know that since it, since we can only go down here, that makes it easier, right? So for C, we'll do the same thing. This is going to be the bottom row. We'll say n minus one, minus one, minus one, dp. Um, it's going to be the last row and column and we'll start at start at this column here and we'll do the same thing it's just to get the max of either one or dp what uh, c plus one subtracted by the one that we're calculating now right all right so let me just make sure this is looking good because i could have easily messed this up and it should be something like 6, 5, 2, yep. Uh, and the bottom one should be like all 1s. And it does look like it. So this here, you see that, like we showed before, you would need 6 to get to the princess, 5 to get up here, 2 to get to this cell. And for these, you only need 1 because of how high uh, all the HP that you would gain from getting to these, to these cells here. All right, so finally, now we have our two rows that we could calculate easily. Now we're going to go through the, the rest of the array. And we'll say uh, for r in range, it's the same thing, minus 1, minus 1, minus 1. c in range of n minus 1, minus 1, minus 1. And this part is a little bit trickier. Now how do we figure out what's going to be the max? Well, it's still going to have to be either maximum of 1 or get the minimum between these two choices that we can go. We can either go right or down, get the minimum one, because we know that's the path that we want to go to, and subtract it by our current cell. And that way, we'll be able to calculate which path we're going to go and how much health do we need to get to, the, to go to that path. All right, so to do that, we'll get the minimum of dp, what, r, uh, say, top one fire first and also the right one. Okay, so get the minimum between those and subtract it by our current cell. Yep, so this, whatever amount that we calculate here, um, get the, be, do the max between one and that. Okay, because we, uh, we know already that we need at least one health uh, otherwise, we're just we're going to die, so that doesn't make any sense. So finally, I'm going to check one last time to make sure this looks good. Our answer should be 7 at the top leftmost corner, and it is. So cool, let's return dp0, 0, zero. Let's submit that. And there you go, accepted. Yeah, so uh, this is not, again, not an easy problem because it's really hard to actually come up with this uh, whole min-max 
way of thinking. Um, when I initially tried to solve this, I could only think bottom up uh, and thinking top down was very difficult. It was, it was only until like really messing around that and looking up other solutions, I saw, finally saw like, yes, I see you have to consider going to the next cell instead of instead of like the other way around. Uh, so hopefully that helps um, because once you figure that out, it's not that bad. You can also add an extra array here with um, infinites um, to avoid having these multiple for loops. But I found this the most understandable to me. So, all right, thank you very much.